हमारे वक्त की धड़कन हमारा चिंतन हमारी भावनाएं हमारे विचार कभी कोमल बातचीत तो कभी इंटरेक्शन तेज तर्रार तय करें मिलकर वॉट इज रॉन्ग वॉट इज राइट आई टीवी पर अशोक व्यास के साथ इन साइट टू नाइट नमस्कार वेलकम टू इन साइट टू नाइट अ डिफरेंट शो टू सेलिब्रेट डिफरेंसेस डिफरेंस ऑफ ओपिनियन डिमांड्स दैट वी थिंक thinking makes us human collectively we think about making our world a better place sometimes making it better simply means increasing our comforts now we have the comfort of not going to the phone but keeping this magical instrument in our pocket our pocket stores so many items a camera a tape recorder a calculator a video camera smartphone lets you find out what is happening in another part of the world in an instant technology is changing us and we are changing the technology technology has changed our way of knowing each other it is uh, probably also changing the way we know ourselves internet and the by product of internet social media have become an integral part of our identity in today's insight tonight we will be talking about the sharp edges of social media my guests in the studio are the members of computer generation their identity has evolved with the evolution of social media human warmth and uh, soulful communication how it is playing out with respect to social media we'll find out from them as well as from you is virtual communication taking front seat let us find out first of all uh, welcome uh, to itv studio and a uh, great honor to have all of you in this insight tonight session uh, here is uh, obi yes sir obi you are a student yes sir and uh, shruti vyas you are also a student then uh, here comes uh, happy <laughs> he has been with it for long time he is a student as well as uh, he has the experience of working and uh, this young man is clevis you were named after a boxer in some way yes okay so we begin uh, this uh, championship round uh, with clevis tell me how would you define what is social media technology and how it affects uh, our individual lives every day um such as facebook uh, all these other uh, websites that i mean in a way i believe that it's helped us evolve and connect with people all around the world because um in a in previous times we couldn't do that i mean now we can uh, i don't know about you but i can keep in contact with relatives all over europe uh, and uh it just has expanded uh the way we contact each other and how we keep uh, track of our daily lives and i think it's made us you know, evolve us further well so let's kind of uh, trim it down pehli pehli baar kabhi aisa hua ki aapko kisi ne aake bataya ki ek koi cheez hai jiska naam hai facebook aur aapne socha ki ye facebook kya chidiya hai aur hamare se kai aise log hain abhi tak jo ye sochte hain ki facebook to mere liye nahi hai twitter to mere liye nahi hai agar simplify kiya jaye so happy how would you say why uh, this term social is a part of uh, this expression social media like in which way facebook that? twitter chatting all this is called as social media mm -hmm. um, why do we call it social media social media i think why we call it social media is because we are connecting uh, and uh, i think it's it has pros and it has its cons so the pros are obviously we all are connecting with each other cons are that today we are not communicating face to face and uh, and i think that's which is very bad i even though i support facebook or instagram or any social media that's out there but at the same time i i'm very much against it because we are not having a face to face conversation these days and i believe which is creating a distance between between your friends your family and uh, little little more other things that's so we'll come back to you happy and looks like you're not very happy with social media but shruti tell me uh, many people find they are kind of addicted to social media or 
अगर वो थोड़ी देर देर में अपना फेसबुक अपडेट अपडेट नहीं करते हैं तो उनका मन ही नहीं लगता है या किसी ने क्या ट्वीट किया है वो अगर फटाफट चेक नहीं करेंगे तो डोंट फील गुड अबाउट दैम सर सो टेल मी योर अंडरस्टैंडिंग ऑफ सोशल मीडिया एंड योर रिलेशनशिप विद सोशल मीडिया आई थिंक द रीजन गोइंग बैक टू वाई इट्स कॉल्ड सोशल मीडिया इज बिकॉज एवरीथिंग दैट यू डू ऑनलाइन इज पब्लिश एंड इट कैन बी looked at again for reference anyone can go and look at it if they have the password in the proper ways um my connection with mo- social media i'm on constantly online i'm on facebook 24/7 if someone needs to reach me if i'm not picking up my phone they will go and message me on facebook and most likely i will respond within the hour so uh i'm very much hooked on to it i understand it, he doesn't agree with it and he's not very good with it but um i think that it's definitely helped me connect with my friends that aren't around anymore or if you know how back in the day if someone left or your best friend left home and they moved away you were no longer best friends it's not the case anymore i can still be best friends with my friend who lives in pennsylvania or in connecticut anything so mm-hmm. yeah it's pennsylvania connecticut australia <laughs> you could go far off but uh, back uh, coming to ob um, with if you try to recollect there was just a few years ago that there was no facebook and i think you would remember you gradually started building your uh, friend group on facebook how was this process for you well uh it, it was a uh, evolution of social media that led up to let's say facebook uh prior to facebook uh, the big thing was myspace and uh, prior to myspace there's something called the uh, high five or something like that and it, it's just you gradually going from one step to another and um, as you matured uh, it, the idea was that uh, the younger kids were on uh, myspace and the the college kids were on facebook because facebook at that time was only open to college kids so as soon as facebook was made available for everyone you know especially kids that were uh, teenagers or adolescents you know they want to be considered adults they want to be considered oh like the college kids so they just jumped on uh, facebook uh initially i did not want to get on the bandwagon because i i i just i didn't like the idea of being connected to people all the time so uh, at some time i just uh, enjoy my privacy but it's just everybody was on it and for me to not be on it it's just me being an outcast and people would almost look at me like i'm weird or uh, i'm just anti social that's why i created a a page and added a few friends but now it's like i am on it every day uh, but i try to still limit myself as much as possible so that's a great thought uh, try uh, and limit yourself as much as possible but many times you end up finding yourself uh, in a situation where you share your intimate moments or moments which have a uh, nature of privacy and they are your family moments and when those pictures are uploaded on facebook uh, the privacy is uh, going out of the window how do you feel uh, are we conscious in terms of maintaining our privacy is there any need of privacy is social media taking away a kind of uh, uh, comfort zone that we have in term we had in terms of uh, having our own place um you starting with you clevis you look very serious maybe something came up in your mind um i i don't believe that uh, i believe that everybody needs uh privacy to an extent but uh with the evolution of uh social media as obi mentioned uh people have become less uh aware of that they share everything they do what they eat uh what they do i mean every single step of their life is at times published and uh and it's a little bit it comes to uh at, at times you don't need to know that stuff so it's not necessary but people still do it however there is a uh, uh another thing that's that greatly benefits from social media is that we share our political views or um our what we believe in you know before um you couldn't like people can publish on their facebook page or whatever page uh something that they strongly believe with in and something they want to change some and uh other people will read it and people start thinking and when a human being starts thinking a lot of great things happen so uh i mean there is though there is that negative drawback to it but i think it can be ignored to a point where there's more it's more beneficial well yeah, that's a good way of looking at it yani koi privacy ki khas zarurat nahi unke hisab se aur jo hai वो किसी और को किसी अच्छे काम को करने के लिए इंस्पायर कर सकता है दैट 
पॉसिबिलिटी इज देयर नो गोइंग टू यू हैप्पी सिमिलर सिचुएशन किसी की शादी में आप जाते हैं किसी की बर्थडे पार्टी में है किन लोगों के साथ हैं किस तरह से आप एंजॉय कर रहे हैं वो सारी बात पब्लिक हो जाती है तो इज इट काइंड ऑफ डिस्कम्फर्टिंग ऑन सम लेवल आई बिलीव इट इज डिस्कम्फर्टिंग बिकॉज आई डोंट वॉन्ट एनी बडी टू बी नोइंग माई बिजनेस वॉट आम डूइंग इज माई पर्सनल लाइफ एंड यस इफ आई वॉन्ट टू यस देन आई वुड पोस्ट इट अप बट um talking about from indian culture how we are right it uh how we respect our elders and we don't want them to see like somebody's drinking or somebody's clubbing and then you know how they're dancing and stuff and all that i mean why would i like to have my picture on facebook and they'd be like oh i caught him drinking that's it and you know that guy's reputation just went down the drain in indian community you know but uh, i mean i'm very much against this and ban hi chahta ki meri picture koi lagaye ji photo kheech ke and i'm like wow somebody caught me drinking or somebody caught me like dancing with a girl even though i was just dancing with her i didn't i didn't just do anything <laughs> like that with her like, i mean <laughs> this, these are the things that i mean some things i'm against this some things i'm not but i'm very much against this kind of thing to bahut hi ek fine line hai it's like you're walking on sword's edge ki ka privacy chalti hai ka privacy khatam ho jati hai aur kitni baat batani kitni nahi batani so happy ke reference mein ye bhi hai ki हम क्या करते हैं उसके बारे में भी आजकल जब फेसबुक या सोशल मीडिया है देन यू गॉट बी मोर कॉन्शियस कि मैं कर क्या रहा हूँ बिकॉज आई कुड गेट कॉट एनी वेयर एंड इट कुड बिकम पब्लिक एनी टाइम इन योर केस श्रुति हाउ डू यू फील इज देर एनी डिवाइडिंग लाइन कि कितना कुछ फैमिली का या फ्रेंड्स का जो सेलिब्रेशन uh, हैं वो सब पब्लिक हो जाने चाहिए या वी ऑल हैव बिकम एग्जीबिशन इन सम वे आई थिंक दैट वन thing that facebook has is uh, privacy settings so even with albums you can go and um, you can make a group of just your family and you can say available only for family i have that for many of my albums if there are albums of birthday celebrations or weddings i keep them but i don't allow all the friends to see it because it, they don't why would they want to see it it's my personal business so i have my family come and i have the family um option and i allow my cousins from india or in europe or even different parts of the united states they even if they are able to attend a celebration they can at least view it and like it and comment and you know it's nice to keep connected that way wonderful so are we uh, before we um, move towards our first break of uh, today's uh, insight tonight where we are talking about is social media making us uh, unsocial in some way and you can also call in and share your views uh, down the line but before we take this break ob uh, from the point of view of privacy how do you feel about social media well uh as soon as you create a uh, account on whether it's facebook twitter whichever social media uh, outlet you are using uh you you have to understand you are sacrificing a certain amount of privacy uh, right then and there just the fact that uh, someone might be able to google your name and f- get a picture of you that's you sacrificing your privacy you are no longer anonymous to the world where now there's a f- picture to that name and uh even as far as you know and we are just talking about in the sense of well this person can see my family photos or that person can see my family photos but it sometimes it gets even more dangerous than that where uh you have fake accounts where someone could just steal a photo of you from your account and then create a uh, another account with another name but using your picture and now they could do anything uh you know with your face and just you know like disseminate your reputation you know where you might find someone uh, that next you knows you by your picture and they like, oh look this person has another account and this is what they're doing on this account you know so it's uh, it, it, you just have to understand that you are not going to keep all your privacy regardless of how strict you keep your privacy settings uh, it just you are going to sacrifice some amount of your privacy. obi has made a very honest uh, point and he has scared us some way but nobody is going to go away from facebook so we'll go away from all of you for some time for this short break and before i take uh, the opportunity of saying goodbye to you for a little while let me also mention in your presence uh, the impact of social media one of the impact as has been seen is there have been many separations because of the postings so people have reached to the stage where they break up and on this note we take our first break
every evening, 7, 6 central. For advertising, please call 347-653-1309. It's just sad. It's sad that in a matter of minutes, people can trash you and your business on the internet and get away with it. Did you know 9 out of 10 customers do an internet search before they buy? So when a former employee unfairly attacked you online, or an unhappy customer put you in a ripoff report, there was nothing you could do about it but watch your customers leave and your reputation suffer. Until now. Reputation.com gives you the power to protect yourself online. The internet can spin your life and job out of control, but Reputation.com watches over you online and improves your reputation by promoting the truth. Reputation.com protects everything you've worked so hard for, doing the things you just can't do yourself. Call now and get a free, detailed analysis of your online presence. Our reputation advisors will show you where the danger is and how much you have to risk. Call 1-800-323-9772 for your free reputation review. Call now. Hello, I'm attorney Dave Bonad Vishwanath with the Bonad Law Offices, and I'm here to tell you that I'm available to handle all your immigration and citizenship legal needs. If you've got family petition issues, student visa issues, problems at a consulate, or are in removal or deportation proceedings, contact my office. I'm at your service. If you need to file a waiver application, an appeal, or a motion to reopen, let me know and see if I can help. We've got offices in Manhattan and in Queens, and we will meet you at your convenience. And remember, with the Bonad Law Offices, it's loyalty and devotion to carry you through your immigration needs. Your eyes are the windows to your world. Trust your eyes to Malik Eye Care. This is where ophthalmology, optometry, and opticianry join under one roof to meet all your vision needs. Our offices house a plethora of state-of-the-art lasers and diagnostic equipment. I'm a board-certified ophthalmologist and a member of the American Academy of Ophthalmology and also a fellow of the American College of Physicians and Surgeons. I've done thousands of ocular surgeries to restore vision to many patients. Consult our offices to see how we can improve your vision. We look forward to seeing you at your next appointment. Gay and Associates, attorneys and counselors at law, specializing in immigration law. Now open, Forest Hills, and Ozone Park, Queens. Immigration, bankruptcy, divorce, personal injury. Call us for a free initial personal consultation at 718-263-5999. Gay and Associates, attorneys and counselors at... These are real life emergencies. They happen suddenly, unexpectedly. You can be lost, alone, or in control you can have help at the push of a button this is medical alert how may i help you announcing medical alert the personal alarm system medical alert is there for you in minor emergencies too hello this is medical alert how may i help you i'm not feeling well i'm lightheaded do you need an ambulance julie please no fuss can you call my neighbor gladys for me right away i know my children worry about me being alone but I'm not really alone with my medical alert. Call now for your free consultation to see if medical alert is right for you. You'll get this keychain flashlight free just for calling and be eligible to get this second emergency button and this locking key box free with your order. For your complete medical alert system with the free keychain flashlight, call 1-800-689-5158. Did you know home appliance and major system breakdowns cost homeowners an average of $1,700 per year in repairs and replacements? American Residential Warranty can help cover those costs with home service plans starting at less than a dollar a day. Plan options include coverage for central air, heat, and ductwork. Interior electrical systems and plumbing. Major kitchen appliances. Water heaters. Washers and dryers. Garage door openers. Ceiling fans and more. Even pools and spas. American Residential Warranty replaced my dishwasher with a brand new one and I only paid a small service fee. I woke up on a Saturday morning and there was no hot water in the shower. So I called American Residential Warranty. They sent a repairman to fix the problem the same day. Call now. There's no obligation. But hurry if you wait until you need a home service repair. It'll be too late. Call 1-800-648-4635. That's 1-800-648-4635. Or log on to getahomeplan.com to find out which home warranty plan is right for you.
वेलकम बैक टू इनसाइड टू नाइट आज हम बात कर रहे हैं क्या सोशल मीडिया हमें अनसोशल बना रहा है और जो दबाव है सोशल मीडिया के हाउ दे आर अफेक्टिंग अवर डे टू डे लाइफ यू मेट अवर पैनलिस्ट बिफोर द ब्रेक बट लेट मी जस्ट हैव द प्लेजर ऑफ इंट्रोड्यूसिंग अगेन दैम टू यू क्लेविस एप्पी श्रुति एंड ओबी and now we are also joined on phone uh, by sai kumar sai kumar ji uh, works with computer associates and he is a designer of computer applications sai kumar ji um, we are talking about social media and uh, the way social media demands our attention on uh, any time on point to uh, point a to point b whatever you are doing you feel like a pressure of being a multitasker how do you think it is affecting our ability to concentrate and uh, how is it influencing our mental strength hi <clears throat> hi ashok rashi thank you for giving me the opportunity um social networks uh, i think are a natural evolution of uh, human mind to figure out better ways to communicate right so if you look at the past we had uh, letters then we had uh, uh, telephone then email you know uh, then youtube and then the big wave of uh, social networks like facebook linkedin twitter etc so this has really created one challenge for us like you know the task multitasking has become part of our lives we used to t- take tasks in a, in a in a in a legacy way you know we used to do one at a time maybe one or more at a time like maybe two at a time but now with the social networking um, it is really uh, a, dif- a different a different dimension to our way of living and reacting to situations right right the positive side of the uh, social networking is that it's giving you an opportunity to instantly know what's going on and uh, instantly communicate with anybody anywhere in the world but at the same time <clears throat> it allow allow me to interrupt you and um, we know uh, we have limited time but do you think as a result of the facility of social media we have become happier than what we were or in terms of the quotient of happiness how social media has uh, played its role I would say, I mean, uh, it, it depends again. Uh, the social media, as such, gives us an opportunity to communicate, but you know, uh, because we do it more, then we have uh, the side effect. The side effect is uh, basically, you know, attention deficit syndromes, what we have, and uh, stress too. Because uh, now it's more like a peer pressure that you have to have uh, the social networking accounts. You have to look at that. I think that is causing definitely some pressure. and um, uh even attention deficit to the quality of work is going down in some ways i can say and uh, uh people the relationships that we have to live with are taken for granted because in the family uh, physically people live together but if you look at them they are individuals social networking with people so it is breaking the family harmony that we used to have in the past i think that's why you know people are looking at each other in a, in a vacuum right in the home where you know people used to talk to each other you know have jokes have all the fun it's now on the texting therefore i think <laughs> it, it kind of disturbs the peace there yeah we appreciate your input uh, sai kumar ji thank you very much for joining us uh, in this thank you. tonight uh, so nice of you you could